my amazing artists and welcome back to art class. This week, as you can see, we're going to be making some spider webs, but we're going to be doing that using a certain color family. Now, we learned about this color family in kindergarten. Don't worry, even if you didn't have me in kindergarten, you probably already kind of sort of know these colors. Did you know that you can take different colors and split them into different color families? Well, this color family that includes yellow, blue, and red make up the primary colors. You might remember these guys from last year. You can also watch the other video that I attached for you with the OK Go primary colors video with kind of a fun little song to help you remember them. But remember, red, blue, and yellow are our primary colors. And the thing that's important about the primary colors is you can't mix anything to make them, right? You can't mix any colors together to make red, and you can't mix anything to make blue, and you can't mix anything to make yellow. But if you have all three of your primary colors, plus black and white, you could literally make any color that you want. Now we're gonna talk about color mixing again another week. Right now we're just going to worry about our primary colors. But we're going to use our primary colors to help us make a spider web. Now these spider webs are actually inspired by some artwork um, by an artist named P.A. Mondrian. And what P.A. Mondrian used to create is he used to create artwork that had um, different vertical. Remember vertical goes up and down different horizontal lines, horizontal go side to side, and it would be all different boxes, different rectangles and squares, all different shapes and sizes, and then he would color some of them in with the primary colors, and he would leave the rest of them white. I'm going to take a second to show you an example of his artwork along with the lesson so you can see it, but we are going to make a spider web since it is October and it is spooky season. But we are going to color our spider web in the style of Pei Mondrian by including our primary colors in some of the spaces, not every single space. You can see I have a really, really big one up here that I actually colored in using paint. This one I colored in using marker, and I'm going to create another one here that I'll probably color in using crayon, but you'll be able to use whatever you have at home, which is great. It'll give you lots of options. Um, I'm going to draw my spider web using a black marker, but you can follow along with me to draw the spider and the spider web, and then you'll be able to use whatever you have at home to color. So to start working on my spider web, we're actually going to draw the spider first, because then when we draw all the lines for the web, they can go behind the spider and we won't have to worry about drawing our spider and having lines going through it. So you're going to pick a corner of your paper where you want to put your spider. Now, on my two examples, I happen to put my spider down in this corner here. I think for this project, I'm going to pick a different corner. So I'm actually going to put my spider, I'm not going to put my spider up here in this corner. So you could choose a corner of your paper. Uh, spiders are pretty easy to draw. You can just draw an oval. You don't want to make him too big, but you don't want to make him too tiny either. And it's up to you how you want to draw your spider because this spider up here, I gave him eight eyes to make him, you know, look a little more realistic. Spiders have like a lot of eyes. But if that kind of creeps you out a little bit, because I'm not going to lie, Miss Wegman is a little afraid of spiders too. Sometimes I like to make my spiders a little bit cuter. So it's up to you how you want to draw your spider. I'm going to make this little guy a cute spider, especially because he's a little smaller. So I'm going to give him his eyes. And since I'm just doing this with my marker, I'm just going to color it in. I'm going to give him his little, his little smile. Now, no matter what you do, how many legs does a spider have? A spider has eight legs. So I'm going to make sure that I give him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. There's my cute little spider. And I can also take my marker. Now I like to make my spiders look cute and fuzzy. So I'm going to color it in with lots of little lines so he looks fuzzy. But I'm going to make sure not to color on top of my eyes. Now you could just color your spider in. I just realized that I kind of colored over his mouth a little bit, so that was a little silly of me. I probably should have done this with a crayon, but I'll draw his little mouth in there anyway. He's still cute though. So I have my spider. Now it's time to make the spider web. 
and we're going to do one line at a time. Now, what you can do to help you with this, if you're not totally sure where the middle of your paper is, is you can also fold your paper too. If you want, we're going to start with a horizontal line. So if you're having a hard time finding the middle of your paper, you can actually fold your paper in half. And then that way you'll be able to see right where the middle of your paper is. And you can do that going sideways too. You don't have to use a ruler to do this. You can just draw a line because spider webs are not perfectly straight. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line going across the middle of my paper. And I'm also going to do a vertical line going down the middle. Just like that. All right. Now I have to add diagonal lines. Remember, diagonal lines go from corner to corner. So I'm going to start from the middle of my spider web, and I'm going to draw a line that goes to each corner of my paper. So your paper's pretty much already set up for you. And make sure when you do this corner that you hop over your spider. So I'm going to draw my line, stop, and hop over my spider friend. So now I have the beginnings of some of my lines for my web. And now I have to connect them together. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do inside of each of these triangles. I'm going to start with one of them here. And I'm going to do lines two and three. But this one's going to go off my paper a little bit here. And I'm going to use these to help me with all of my other triangles. So I'll draw a line here and here. And I'm going to make sure that they're all touching as they're going around. So you can watch me fill it in. And there we go. And there I have my spider web. Now my final step would be to take my primary colors, which I have right here with my crayons, and I'm going to pick and choose some shapes to color in. Now remember, you're not coloring in every single shape. You want to try and space them out a little bit and leave a good chunk of them white. I would probably pick, depending on how many you have, you can see my smaller one here, I did three red, three yellow, and three blue. I could probably have done four. With this one I did four, just because it was a bigger paper. So I'm going to make my way around my spider web and I'm going to color four blue spaces, four red spaces, and four yellow spaces. The thing to consider is just to not have them touching each other. Spread them out. Don't do all of your yellows together in one spot. Put one here. Try and put one in each corner. So I'm going to do that and then I will show you the finished product. So you can see I finished coloring my spider web. I have one, two, three, four blue spaces, one, two, three, four yellow spaces, and one, two, three, four red spaces. So I want you to try and do four of each and that's it. Then you're going to leave it. The rest can stay white. You have your spider, you have your spider web, and that's it. I am going to give you two weeks to work on this. So you don't have to do this all at once. What you might want to do is maybe one week you can draw the spider and draw the spider web. And then maybe another week you can work on coloring, but I'm going to give you a little extra time to work on this project so that you don't feel like you're rushing and you can do a really good job. All right. So you're going to have two weeks to work on this project and then you can take a photo and you can send it to me on team so I can see it and give you a grade. And I can't wait to see your primary color PA Mondrian inspired spider webs. Hope you guys have fun and I will see you next time for art class. Bye.